never seen before. New England is out there. We are trying our hardest. We're either gonna get into it. We're gonna have our first match of the day, and I am ready to uh, bleed enthusiasm as we head into <laughs> some crispy melee action. Fox is to start it off, making us nice and awake. And already you're gonna see Jesse get the first grab into an up air. Not the hugest punish for a Fox Ito, but he's still looking for more. What a hard read, gonna get knocked down once again. And now Ricky's able to turn it around, but these quick back and forth conversions are making it difficult for one player to get them completely. Yeah, I want to say that it's a good, great, great startup from Jesse. You got the up throw at 0%, which right. is a great setup, especially since it's so difficult to use aerials at such a low percent. From there, he's just been zoning Ricky in. And from that, he's already got 87%, so it's almost a stock for Jesse. Right. Oh, great dash. I mean, uh, you know, dash attacks held in. And look at that. Let's go to the ledge. Recognizes that Ricky's actually not going to be able to back to stage. So just re grabs and is able to get that stock cleanly. Nice jab reset right there. And two tech takes up smash. Going to get two there. More punishes are going to keep coming out from Jesse. This is a pretty dominating performance this game. And the zoning, too. I mean, he got three up smashes, although right. it's just some potent percent after the third up smash he shot him off stage and i mean that's that's been the reason why he's been able to milk a lot more percent but unfortunately some crucial mistakes and jesse's gonna forfeit that stock to ricky yeah and that was almost disastrous for ricky even doing that firefox beneath the stage right there had jesse spaced himself correctly he'd been able to get that shine and get another quick stock off of ricky but despite that he's gonna find a grab get the up throw up there the tried and true combo you know, sometimes Smash Guy will save you, sometimes it won't. Um, really depends on where Fox gets that grab too, right? Because if you DI away and force him to jump at you, you SDI in the other direction. In that scenario, Ricky pretty much went straight up, so it's really hard to SDI into that. Exactly. And I mean, and, uh, man, I'm, I'm hyped for my boy Jesse. He was talking smack, saying, you know, I was giving Ricky the hand and friendly, so we're really seeing his confidence come out. He's coming out with tenacity, and he gets that shine too, calling out the these close side B to the stage. Good, good stuff from Jesse right now. I'm gonna think, oh, <laughs> good stuff from Jesse as he runs and commits seppuku off the stage. But you know, it's funny that you say that Jesse was uh, talking some trash, because like, when is Jesse not talking trash? As he gets royally dumped on by Ricky, Ricky can go ahead and try to close up his edge guard. Beautiful, goes deep! to get that teardrop shine to make Jesse wipe his face from those tears. Gonna need to keep on playing, keep playing consistent, but Ricky has already brought this back after the unfortunate SD from uh, Get a War Machine for 20. Man, he had a spotlight on that shine with that magnifying glass. See you later. That's no easy task. Ricky's really turning up the heat. Get a War Machine back at him. 104%, it's almost one hard hit and a clean edge guard. Oh, he's in your head. Ooh. He's in your head. You can see Jesse actually was getting a little bit into that, taking a deep breath, being able to clutch out that game. I thought that maybe he'd go for a lazy dash attack up smash, because that's usually uh, the Fox Ditto Ender, you know, no matter how good you are, which is every level of play. But this time around was not uh, the option you have to go for there. Was able to get that edge guard. You can go right back to Battlefield for game two. Now, hopefully, Jesse uh, doesn't SD this time around, but Ricky is also starting to wake up a little bit by the end of that game one. So this could very easily still go either way. We're going to wait to see which box player adapts the best. Yeah, you're definitely seeing uh, Jesse come out with a lot of aggression. Uh, definitely trying to corner Ricky, keep him up in the air at lower percent so that he can keep him on the platforms, come up with a rising aerial or get another grab. And then aside from that, he's just... just getting him with aggression. You're seeing Ricky try to throw in some counter-aggression there, so let's see how it works out for him going on further in the set. Yeah, it's always interesting. Wow, that Nair flips Ricky, holding me trying to dash back or something, or I don't know, jump. Yeah, so he just wasn't ready to get hit. He just didn't have the DI for it at all. It was the biggest Nair plane. He just came in there on the landing strip. Oh, it's interesting shine, but it didn't really matter. Ricky able to bring it back fairly easily, 30% now, so not really too much of deficit at all. That hard knockdown chance to get this up throw. Not the biggest conversion though, only a backer. Normally you want some up there, some up smash or something. Oh my god! Oh! I think he recognized that he went off stage, couldn't really do anything from the position that Jesse was coming from. Try to get the ledge as quickly as possible, but Jesse already burned him. Ooh, trying to keep him up on the platform. He slightly missed times the punish. He jumps up and just... No air, no hitbox, no, no feints. He just gets destroyed by Ricky's get-up attack, and Ricky's turning it back up on him. There we go, right, the dash attack up smash, but I was expecting to see a little bit more in the first game, we didn't really see, but now here it is coming out for the first time in game two, and Ricky, once again, setting up these hard knockdowns, not going for these up airs, trying to get maximum damage, going for the back airs, and just trying to get, you know, guarantee damage he can, and 
Lucy finally has enough racked up to try to go for something big, but Jesse can go ahead and crouch cancel that attack to get that up smash to close out that stock as well. Yeah, taking advantage of his percentage, he'll need to in order to bring this game back because Ricky is tacking on this percent, and that's going to look like a stock. So nice 0% stock right. for Ricky. Let's see if he implements a lot of this lower percent tech, uh, tactics to his play to hold this game. Good start from Jesse, gets two hits of forward air, but get him Italian, he needs to get off this edge, he is being way too haphazardly, but somehow a reverse nair and the shy back on stage lets Jesse have a chance at neutral, he's already gotten beaten up quite a bit, 50% on him, perfect combo percent for Fox, needs to be very good with how he plays neutral interaction, and I like that, he still has the balls to crowd cancel right there, this could be a huge opportunity for an edge guard, oh, so close, Suspicion. And this is close. These guys are swinging at each other. Oh no. Oh no. What do you mean? Down 2 Both games on Battlefield. He's not down it's the to you, huh? Oh no. Alright. What was Did Jesse just Oh yeah, so I'm so sorry. No, that was that was uh that was Jesse losing. I'm so sorry. I saw Ricky cringe. And uh I believe he was cringing for his opponent. For how bad that is. <laughs> yeah, for, yeah, for how bad he did not want to win that game on a missed ledge dash. Missing, I want to say that getting an SD on your earlier stocks aren't so bad because right. you feel like, all right, you know what, this game isn't lost, but at the last stock, you just can't just, feel but like, feels bad. dang, man, it's gone. Like, part of that's playing Fox, but it has to be you know, especially bad for Jesse because not only is that SD, but that's two SDs that he's seen. He already SD once a game one. He's going to lose game two. Now, Brandy was able to touch out the one because to tighten up your tech and make sure that you're performing as best you can. Those get the perfect pinch that they need there. That's really hard to do, though. And what I just don't want to see from Jesse going on further into the set is he missed some of these technical opportunities, is that he gets a little bit more passive and reserved. I mean, he, you've seen how well his aggression has paid off up until, uh, you know, just about now, Ricky's starting to counteract that, and Jesse's starting to make a bit more flubs. I feel like if Jesse's just able to execute the way he needs, then he'll be able to pull this quick through for the set. Oh, no, should die the here. leg! Oh. See, that's a beautiful recognition from Ricky right there. The awareness. Hits him out uh, of the first one because he has to up below. Oh no, should I even trap ledge? No, he actually goes for the shine. So, wow. Granted, the thing with that was that he could have gone straight up and then on stage, but it, it was more or less kind of obvious of a reason that he didn't go at the. Oh my goodness, what is this reversal going on right here? Somehow, Jesse gets the tail end, another SD. That makes three different opportunities yeah. we've seen. Get a warm machine, force to stop, go in the drain, due to an inability to execute tech wise. And now, because of this, we're getting no. a huge lead. And you're seeing Jesse get a little flustered. I feel like he's already thrown the opportunity to win this game away. I don't feel like it's much of what Ricky does now. I think it's just more or less waiting out Jesse to make more mistakes. He's getting a little flustered. I'm, I'm gonna see how, how Jesse, uh, I mean, I get that chance to say, I'm gonna see what Jesse does when he gets the next grab, um, because depending on how that goes, it very easily be a tie game, we can see, uh, yeah, that's four. So you can essentially say that Jesse has thrown away an entire game. So he's thrown away an entire game. Might even be a set. Oh my lord. But the other thing is point. too, like, you know, you missed this many ledge dashes already. But they're all yeah, they're all the same. You still have to too. go for it. You still have to go for it. Yeah. And if he stops going for it, he streamlines his game plan and really limits his options from the edge as well. So he needs to just kind of get the mentality to sit down and still fight it out. Hopefully. Oh, no. Oh, no. But that's just the nature of melee. If you cannot fight near the ledge, you cannot play this game. The ledge is just a way to refresh invincibility. Just such a potent part of playing the control and playing the punish. I'm already a little bit scared because we just saw in that scenario Ricky side beat onto the stage and instead of ledge dashing back on to get the punch, we saw Jesse opt to go for a double jump to the edge. It was too slow. Could have ledge yeah. there, Brandon. He's getting scared. I'm, I'm, I'm seeing that from him because Ricky's getting a little bit in his face, clipping and get a war machine every time he wants to come in. And that's becoming a, that's becoming a huge issue because he's losing so much percent, he's losing easy stops. Right. Oh, yeah. He get this grab, doesn't get that up smash to drop that could have led to so much damage. And now Ricky can go ahead and up smash that zero. Crouch cancel by get a war machine. No. Another grab from Ricky, this means another punish sequence, get clipped. Jesse is just out of it. He's like, they even tried to come back to the stage. He's, 
He's fed up. He wants to get oh, he's fed up. As close as I know he thinks he could have won, and I'm not going to be the one to say that he couldn't have either, right? He definitely seemed like a set that could have been close, um, but Jesse just unable to execute. Uh, 